So there's a load of magnetic wallets to get for your phone, and if you're looking to get one because it's a useful accessory for your cards that you want to carry from time to time, or it's just convenient as a stand for your phone when watching videos, then I got you covered on all the top tier magnetic wallets that you can get. Oh my god, that's awesome. So stick around as I'll be covering 8 different wallets and help you find the perfect one. Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Up. In this video, I'm going to be covering essentially all the best magnetic wallet options out there, and I'll go over the designs and features, as well as the magnetic strength of them by performing various tests, and I'll cover all the pros and cons of these wallets, so by the end, you'll know which one's the best to get. But I'll also let you know which one I personally think is the best at the end of the video. By the way, all these wallets will be tested on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, and side note, some of these will have features only for the iPhone. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more of these types of videos, as it not only helps my channel, but gives you guys those in-depth reviews for various accessories and tech gadgets that you may be looking to get. Anyways, let's get into this review. The first wallet that I'll be going over is from ESR. And I gotta say, this brand has emerged as one of the top smartphone accessory brands out there in the last few years, and they just keep on delivering on great practical and high quality accessories, especially with the world's first MagSafe wallet to feature Find My support, other than what Apple's wallet offers. But before I get into showing you how it works, I'll go over the design and features of this Geo wallet. So there are two color options for it, and it's a faux leather MagSafe wallet that gives you the ability to hold up to three cards, but I managed to get four in there if one is a slim card. Moreover, it features an adjustable tension spring stand that can be easily adjusted for viewing angles from 15 to 160 degrees, which is really convenient for someone like myself who enjoys using the stand feature when watching things off my iPhone. On top of that, it has a neat finger loop on the back of it if you want to securely hold your iPhone with it. But the best part about it is that it offers Find My support, and it can be easily connected with your iPhone. So all you have to do is press this button, and once you select Add Item and then Other Items in the Find My app, it will eventually find it and you'll be able to get it connected. Afterwards, you can start to track it down by playing the sound. or finding it on the map. One thing though that it doesn't feature is precision finding, and I really wish that was added on this accessory, but you still get the ability to utilize the other Find My features like loss mode when you lose it, or get notified when it's left behind. Now unlike an AirTag, this accessory has a built-in battery, so you'll have to charge it once in a while with their magnetic proprietary charging cable. And ESR claims that after a full charge, you'll get three months out of the battery before you need to charge it again. As for the next MagSafe wallet, which features a stand like the ESR, is the Spigen Smartfold. This wallet comes in either a black or gunmetal color, and it holds up to two cards. The cool features with this wallet is that it has a foldable stand on the back that can be positioned in two foldable ways. And it's a stand I've used for quite a bit and have enjoyed it when using it in portrait and landscape mode. It offers a nice texture grip on the back and convenient accessibility with a hole to push out the cards. Now, another magnetic wallet that also features a stand is the Moth Snap-on Phone Stand. This has been my go-to vegan leather wallet that I've been using daily, and it comes in a variety of colors as well. I did review it with Moth's neat Snap Stand Power Set combo a few months ago, so if you're interested in a cool MagSafe accessory combo for your iPhone, then I do have that video right up here. Anyways, this wallet can hold up to three cards, but I've managed to easily get four into it. As for the foldable stand on the back of it, there's one way of folding it, and you'll be able to put it in several of the common positions like landscape or portrait mode. But the really nice thing about it is that its foldable design makes it convenient to use it as a holder if needed. Next up, the Pop Wallet for MagSafe, made by PopSockets, is a wallet that doesn't offer a foldable stand on the back, but features a pop socket for that easy one-handed grip. And it's a sleek, plastic wallet that comes in many options with different colors and designs. And PopSocket claims that the wallet holds three cards, but from testing it out, it comfortably holds two. If you try to add another regular size card into it, you'll definitely feel how hard it is to put it in. 
but it will hold three cards if you push that third card into the wallet. My only concern is that I did notice it was much harder putting three cards that were embossed credit cards. However, aside from that, it's a great one-handed magnetic wallet in which you'll only be able to position in horizontally on a flat surface, as the pop socket won't support your phone's weight in portrait mode. As for the next wallet, the Pelican Magnetic Wallet and Card Holder is certainly a lot different compared to the rest in terms of its hard plastic design, unlike all the other wallets in this review, as it features a snap-on enclosure for the whole wallet. Thanks to this design, it's a dustproof and water-resistant MagSafe accessory that's going to offer great heavy-duty protection. It's also available in three color options and can hold up to four cards. It packs two carrying compartments, the one on the right is primarily designed for cards, while the other is a great compartment for cash. However, you can remove the elastic band on the left side and add a card or other things you'd like to carry. But the negative aspect about this wallet is that you won't be able to use it as a stand, even when trying to prop it up. Other than that, it's got great features that many others don't offer with its protection. As for the Phantom C, which was another wallet that I tested, it's one of the highest quality premium magnetic wallets you can find. It features an all aluminum chassis that can hold three to five cards depending on how many embossed cards you put into it. With less embossed cards, you could add a few slimmer cards and put five into it. And one of the cool features with this carbon fiber designed wallet is that it fans cards out in a nice and practical way, and it keeps them firmly in place once inserted so they don't fall out. But even though Phantom claims it's a lightweight wallet, it's actually on the heavier side compared to other wallets in this size when you put five cards into it. But it's certainly one of those premium wallets that really catch anyone's eye when combining it with a nice Aramid or carbon fiber iPhone case. Now coming in after the Phantom C, the Pataka Mag Easy wallet is a magnetic wallet that many other brands on the market have designed. And it's one of the slimmest options that you can get out of this bunch. Not gonna lie, it's a really plain wallet similar to what Otterbox offers with theirs and many other brands out there. It's a simple two-card magnetic wallet with a hole on the front to push out the cards. Boring. Yep, pretty much that's all you'll get out of it. It's basically a Spigen wallet without the foldable stand when using it. Now, last but not least, the Apple Wallet with MagSafe is a stylish and minimally functional leather wallet. It comes in several colors and packs a three-card capacity. It features a similar hole in the back for easy card access, and the latest version of these wallets offer support for Find My, meaning just like the Geo Wallet, it will work with Find My to help you find your lost wallet. But it only notifies you if it gets detached with Find My. It won't feature tracking capabilities of where it actually is, just the general area of where it got detached and lost. So there is no options of pinging it or finding it with the precision finding feature, like with an AirTag. But if you're into nifty, unique, and small features from Apple, this wallet will provide you with a visual animation of when the wallet gets attached and some haptic feedback when it gets detached from your iPhone. And that's something that Spigen also added to their wallet. Nonetheless, it's just as plain or minimalistic as the Pitaka wallet, but for some of you out there, it may be something you'd really like with a decent magnet on it. Alright, but if you really want to find out how all of the magnetic wallets hold up with their magnetic strength because that's important for you, then I did go ahead and test these out to see how all of them held up. I first performed the shake test with them on my iPhone and then with my Pitaka MagEasy Pro 3 case. And after all these tests, all of them held up really well. However, there were some that performed better than others. The three notable ones that held on without easily moving on the back of the iPhone were the Pop Socket, ESR, and Pelican Magnetic Wallets. As for the ones that performed the worst for my tests were the Phantom C Wallet and Pataka Wallet. Cause the Pataka Magnetic design is noticeably different compared to the iPhone's magnet, and it moves easily on the back of it. As for the Phantom C Wallet, it's a bit on the heavier side when it's packed with five cards in it, as for the rest, they held on reasonably well. But just to be sure and to confirm these tests for the first time ever, I used my Gauss meter to see how strong the magnets were on these wallets. I haven't done this yet with any of the MagSafe accessories and was willing to try it out. Now, it's important to mention that the best test for the magnetic strength of these wallets would have been with a pull strength tester, but I don't have this kind of device and went with using my Gauss meter instead. 
And after checking out all the wallets with it, the strongest magnetic wallets were the PopSocket and ESR Geo. The PopSocket offered the strongest magnets when compared to all the others, and the ones that were the weakest were the Pataka Mag Easy and Phantom C wallet from these tests. Now, a case will also play a big role in how well these accessories magnetically hold on your iPhone, so keep that in mind. If you're looking for great magnetic strength to keep your accessories attached, then you'll want a case with stronger magnets. And I do have a video on the strongest cases that I tested if you're interested right at the top. So there's obviously a load of magnetic wallets to get for your phone. And I hope I got to cover all the ones that you might be looking to get. And there's gonna be ones that are better than others depending on what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for a magnetic wallet that packs the most amount of features with the ability to track it down, if you have an iPhone, then the ESR Geo wallet is going to be the best choice, followed by the Apple Leather Wallet. ESR though just packs more Find My features that Apple just doesn't offer. Also, ESR does have this wallet without the Find My support if you don't mind the tracking features and the finger loop. But if you're looking for a magnetic wallet with a foldable stand, then there's a lot to choose from, and it will come down to preference with the Moft or Spigen wallets. However, if you're looking for the most protective one and that's on your mind, then the Pelican wallet is hands down the best choice with its rugged and water resistant design. But it's definitely one of the bulkiest ones out there. As for the pop socket wallet, the magnetic strength and pop socket on the back make it the most handy one-handed wallet out there with its grip. But in the end, if I were to say which one is the best one overall, it's got to be the ESR Geo wallet. It just packs all the features you would want with the best adjustable stand on any wallet that I've tested. Considering you can adjust it to any angle you'd want, and it also comes with a nice finger loop like mentioned earlier, there's just nothing this wallet doesn't offer. Yep. Now, where it truly wins against any magnetic wallet is by it offering full Find My support. Well, not entirely full Find My support, but almost everything you'd want in an AirTag besides precision finding. Now, even though ESR reached out to me with featuring this wallet in the video, I was in no way persuaded to say it's the best by them. I personally and honestly from testing it out and comparing it to others in this review, thought it was the best magnetic wallet in my opinion considering I'm an iPhone user and the Find My support features were the icing on the cake. But what magnetic wallet do you think is the best one to get? Let me know in the comments and I do have links to all of them in the description below. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest iPhone accessory reviews. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here for the next one.